Pesticide use has become widespread in modern agriculture, but the pesticides used to kill the annoying pesky insects also kill the good insects like bees. Now scientists at UC San Diego have a unique way to test how pesticides affect bees. Inside Science. Simone Tosi is a biologist at UC San Diego. He studies bees and how things in the environment, like pesticides, affect these tiny foragers. Simone is studying the effects of a new pesticide, and what's interesting about this pesticide is it's advertised as being bee safe, so we're testing this claim. And what we're trying to do is to see if it affects the ability of bees to fly. Flying is an integral part of the biology of bees. It's how they go and find food sources. And if a bee is unable to fly as well, that will reduce the amount of food that they can bring back to their colony. What Simone will be showing is basically how we take bees, we harness them, and then we fly them indoors inside this flight mill. And the reason for doing this is that we can control all the conditions, temperature, humidity, and light, and have a way of looking at what is the effect of this pesticide on the ability of bees to fly. In a recent study, Tosi showed that a bee's ability to fly can be harmed by commonly used pesticides called neonicotinoids. Exposed bees couldn't travel as far, stay in the air as long, or fly as fast as non-exposed bees. And pesticides kill insects. Bees are insects, unfortunately, and not just honeybees, but also native bees will be affected by pesticides. So it's something important to think about. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.